the West Bengal unit of the Indian Medical Association has raised questions on the Kolkata police clarification of a crowded seminar hall at the RG Kar College and Hospital where the body of the trainee doctor was found on the 9th of August. The IMA has specifically pointed fingers at the presence of one Dr. Avik Day, who has been identified by the Kolkata police as a fingerprint expert. Days after a postgraduate tra trainee doctor was raped and murdered at the Arjikar Hospital in Kolkata, video and pictures showing dozens of people at the crime scene has now raised very serious questions about how so many people were allowed into the seminar hall. It has also been alleged that the crime scene was tampered with. The doctor's association has pointed out that the person whom the police identified as the fingerprint expert, this Dr. Avik Day, is a first-year postgraduate trainee of the surgery department of the Seth Sukhlal Karnani Memorial Hospital in Kolkata. The IMA has urged the CBI to take cognizance of the matter and conduct an inquiry as to what exactly this person was doing at the crime scene as he does not belong to the Arjikar hospital and does not really seem to have any history in forensics. Taking this conversation forward, I have with me AP Singh, former CBI director. We also have with us Rochika Agarwal of the BJP, Nilanjan Das of the TMC and Dr. Ashim Methi uh, of the Arjikar Medical college itself. Let me begin this conversation with Dr. Ashim Methi. Dr. Methi, this new video that has surfaced, if you can shed some light uh, on it for our viewers, who exactly is this person in question and why exactly was he allowed on the hospital grounds? Uh, actually, <clears throat> the, the scenario in this hospital premises and this part of the um, West Bengal, there is a lot of chaos and confusion amongst the presence of the uh, lot of outsiders around the dead bodies. Not 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 uh, from the early morning. Uh, round about according to the some uh, students of uh, chest chest physician chest medicine department, they are telling that there are a lot of swarming of people from, from outsides. And as you know, the uh, red colored uh, persons who, which were supposed to be. Uh, I do, we don't know. We are in dark. Actually, the police commissioner, Mr. Binit Goel, is not uh, uh, telling, every, you know, giving descriptions about the detail. Who are the present exactly, and uh, uh, who are the persons to inform the parents? Uh, they inform the parents in late because the uh, the incident took place in between three to four thirty. I think uh, three thirty to four, rather to say three to four thirty and everything being completed by five so actually the actual scenario of the hospital at that moment was a very big because the four of the uh, four of the of her classmates but actually the two juniors and two uh, classmates were present including uh, including that uh, that uh, some chest physician department sister in charge uh, those who are in working and actually there, there are a lot of people in the morning before and they uh, 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 went for a meeting for two to three hours then they plan for informing the parents and uh, within 10 to 15 minutes span of time by the name of the vice president uh, uh, sorry vice principal of the hospital some lady uh, talked to the parents about the uh, information about their uh, Ill, uh, the sickness and the uh, emergency of the emergency emergency uh, of the uh, <clears throat> victims, but a lot of confusion amongst uh, the uh, description given by Mr. Binit Boyle and uh, also the local uh, the OC uh, officer in charge and the police officers who investigated that uh, SCP. Everybody uh, was actually telling very lie, and nobody gave uh, uh, had yet given the. Uh, detailed information regarding uh, uh, postmortem and cremation okay. and everything. Okay, all right. I do. Uh, uh, yes, yes. Okay, I want to bring in uh, Lanjan Das of the TMC as well. Mr. Das, I just want to understand. I mean, so many photographs and troubling videos now surfacing of just hours after the brutal rape and murder took place. Does this not now indicate at a major lapse on the part of the state government as well as the police that falls under the state government? What exactly was the, were the cops doing allowing 
so many people who and some of them also now seemingly very random to be there to you that should be there yeah i think the question was for me good evening so i think the after the incident after the horrific rape and murder uh, took place the area uh, was cordoned off and outside that area many people came in just probably out of curiosity and uh, i can understand that a commotion or chaos did take place there were uh, people who uh, probably were there in the hospital you see these are people from the medical fraternity they often visit other uh, hospitals and medical colleges so i don't uh, read much into it now the case is under the cbi and it is for the cbi to answer who these people were the cbi can uh, well uh, you know call them they can summon these people they can interrogate them as to what they were doing at that place what information do they have now the problem is in the last 16 or 17 days that the case is with the cbi we have seen no progress we we only are finding this media trial we are seeing that certain pictures certain videos certain cctv footages are being leaked to the media and so that this media circus can continue so this is very unfortunate we want speedy trial we want every person who might be involved in this crime or who uh, you know who helped the perpetrator commit the crime we, we now know that uh, sanjay rai is the only person who committed this uh, rape and murder so uh, why not hang that person why not uh, file the charge sheet so what has the cbi done till now that's my question okay all right roshika agarwal how do you respond to that uh, the questions now being raised on the cbi's inability to conduct the probe um i was just listening to my uh, fellow spokesperson from uh, tmc nilanjan nilanjan ji the only thing is that you just said that people from medical fraternity visit a, a hospital a medical hospital um a place like this and it's very normal for them to visit it's very normal to visit i understand but it's not normal to visit a crime scene it was a crime scene that time and at the crime scene it is not uh, the the police should have made sure that there were no no one entering that premises the crime scene should have been sealed there no, it was so it was no, it was cordoned off then then how come there were so many people in that particular area so many footprints so many handprints found in that particular area the uh, the cover up happened from the very from the day from the very first moment hiding the in the incident covering it up uh, not uh, registering the fir telling lies to the family the first the family receives a call of aapki beti ki tabiyat kharab hai then the family receives a call your boy your daughter has committed suicide which they are being informed after hours of the incident then the fir fir is not being launched then the police is trying to cover up then what cover up what the, the, if you may the make... cover of the incident the cover of the cover incident? of the incident what the incident rape? is covered up the rape and the murder the rape the and the murder the police why? the police why? caught why? the culprit why? within 12 hours what are you saying what are you talking about okay let me okay let why me distill it to the matter that? at hand one second let me distill it to the matter at hand mr nilanjan das today the ima has raised very serious doubts on the presence of one man dr avik day they have written in their letter very clearly uh, some troubling uh, the history of this doctor of how he has fudged official papers uh, to get admission in a post graduate uh, uh, as a, uh, to get admitted uh, in the post graduation how, program how does that matter with this investigation because he was there present as a so called okay, fingerprint okay. expert if it is so if it is so the ima west bengal should uh, visit uh, the cbi office it is at cgo complex if they want to know the location they should go to cgo complex they should give their information and this person uh, mr dr abhik day should be quizzed by the cbi what's stopping these people why is the ima doing but this but no questions policy? then be uh, let me let me be very mr. clear the ima is mr. doing mr nilanjan das do not the scream IMA sir don't so scream mr nilanjan das mr nilanjan das do not scream i will have you muted i am having a civil conversation you with you what do you want you don't raise do you your want. voice we're the having IMA, a the ima we're talking about a serious matter don't scream let me ask you a question should no questions be raised 
regarding the role of the Kolkata police then, which has allowed this so-called fingerprint expert to be present? You, know, you ask the questions very well. That's what I'm asking, but you are yelling. CBI. CBI is the answering authority. The case is with the CBI. How, how many can the CBI answer CBI? what, what a uh, oh, no, fingerprint no, no, expert no, no, was doing when the Kolkata police was leading the investigation? The CBI is leading the investigation. It oh, is leading the investigation it. now, sir. Are the incident that has come to light. The police have conducted the investigation das. for just for four days. What no, is no, the CBI no. doing for Wait. the last 17 days? Mr. Lalanjan Das, please. What is the CBI what? doing for the last 17 days? I Let's not get into answer. what the CBI is doing for the past uh, 17 days. I want to talk about what what has come to light of what the Kolkata police was doing for the four nothing days that it was respon nothing responsible. Has come to light. The IMA, IMA letter says nothing. It is a cheap politics. It is their internal politics. So the IMA, are you saying, is acting at the behest of the BJP? I'm not saying it, that. I'm saying it is their internal politics. They have in, they, that the IMA is internal something. politics against one doctor. Probably, I don't know. Okay, let me say okay. okay. That one doctor Dr. Ashimati, I'll come to you in just a moment. No, okay. no, our, okay. we are fighting for justice for Dr. Tilak Thomas. Sir, and please raise some doing? questions. No, then, Mr. Nilanjan, no. please raise some no, questions. Question no, then, against the Kolkata police. Please let me say something. What Please questions are you something. raising against the Kolkata police? What action has no, been taken against the officers who were involved in the initial doctor. investigation of the it case? It looks like a personal vendetta against one doctor. Ma'am, okay. please, please let me say something because the, the, the TMC supporters are telling, uh, cock, uh, making the cock and bull story. Because uh, let me say something, please. Initially, first three, four days investigations were on uh, beneath Goel only. He came to this body. He's an expert. He's the police commissioner. He is entitled to go for the proper investigation initiation. He handed over the, the, all the charges to CBI without any investigation, destroying all the evidence, all the witnesses, everything with full expediency. This is very unfortunate. Politics come into the legacy. We are not, we are the doctors, not under the umbrella of the Calcutta police. Or uh, I want to ask this doctor. Side. I want to ask this doctor. Why are they not asking the questions of the CBI? What is the CBI doing? If Mr. Vinit Goel, the CP of Kolkata, uh, has done anything wrong, then why is the CBI not uh, taking any action? De why are they not done for the last 17 One days? Second. Definitely, One second, definitely. Mr. definitely. Mr. I am and instead, of, instead of showing your face on TV channels, it's better that you uh, serve the people of West Bengal. No, no, no. And not getting their medical services. Mr. Nilanjan no, Das. One second. Please let me say something. Mr. Das. I don't think you you have the authority to tell a doctor what. No, no, I don't think doing. the doctor has an authority Absolutely. to uh, let the people die. Who's letting? No, the no, no, no. Die? no, no. Let these doctors, the, these doctors are engaging in activism for the last twenty or thirty days, and uh, the people of West Bengal are suffering. No, acha, acha, you yeah, just tell me one of, thing. There's a lot of muck and rot within the system. It's good that it's being exposed now. Please. Let's yeah, not get into the past 20 days. Wow. I want to bring in Mr. Mr. Nilanjan Das, why are you yelling? Days. I don't understand why in you're yelling. Other, in any other state, there would have been uh, asthma um, applicable to these doctors. In any other state. Ma'am, please let me Mr. say something. Why Mr. Das, the doctors, the citizens of India, Mr. Ash Ashim, of course, one second. Of course, that, of course, they have a right to protest. Yes. They do not have Let's a right to there. let... Let's they do not there. have the right... Then, let the, people die. The doctors are not interested in coming out on the streets and protesting and letting people die. Please, they've taken an oath. Let's yeah, they are the they defying that oath. Uh, they are defying the hypocritic oath. Please do not they are defying the doctors who uh, are no sitting on your channel are defying the hypocritic medical oath. Community for negligence by your own state departments and your own state police. Within the first few days of no, time, I want to bring I understand, but the, if, if anyone is let me say something, Mr. 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 We have A.P. Singh, former director of the CBI with us on the yeah, podcast. Yeah. Bring him in. He's been listening patiently to all of you yelling at each other. Mr. A.P. Singh. Yes, please. Ask me. When, sir, for now more and more videos and evidences and conspiracy theories now continue to pour out of what has happened in the first initial days of the investigation when the CBI takes over, say after the fourth or the fifth day of when the state police and other state departments have had full access to the crime scene, how does the CBI then take the case forward and what are the challenges that one is looking at? 
See, this is a this I have, I have earlier also explained. This is a basic problem whenever CBI takes over a conventional crime case, because you never get it immediately. It is always transferred to you after a few days, a week, a month, and so the crime scene is always uh, being disturbed. It is not, uh, you know, you don't get uh, the initial. Uh, uh, the, you know, uh, you don't get to go to the crime scene uh, absolutely uh, right at the beginning. And in this case, as you can see in the photographs, there are a lot of people. Even when you go to a crime scene, each expert goes separately. They don't all go to, in a bunch. The fingerprint fellow will finish his uh, examination of the crime scene. Then uh, the ones who take the fluids found there, they do it separately. So that there are not too many people at a crime scene, one person at a time. Now, if a whole bunch, even if they're experts, a whole bunch come, naturally, there is disturbance. So let's hope that at least the important uh, uh, evidences have been preserved. The DNA uh, test is the most important thing that will immediately link uh, the, uh, the accused with the victim. Uh, there will be fingerprints, there will be hair uh, samples, there will be, uh, you know, the clothes. There'll be blood in the nails of the of the victim because she obviously put up a fight. So all these things, uh, I hope they've been collected, and uh, uh, then CBI will take a decision. Now it's not an uh, you know as I say it's not instant coffee. They keep saying that you know 16 days have gone. We want to hang the accused. Even in Nirbhaya, it took seven years before finally the accused was uh, was uh, hanged. So. It takes time and, you know, it's not only the charge sheet. Charge sheet, probably uh, CBI will find a charge sheet within six months, hopefully maybe three months, but between three and six, it can't be before that. And after that, it's uh, it's a trial. So it takes time. You know, there will be appeals. It goes up from high court, then to the Supreme Court. So all these things take time. And uh, as far as, uh, yes, uh, the lapses of the Calcutta police, if there are any, definitely the CBI investigation will bring that out. And leave it to the CBI. It's a professional organization. It is not in politics. This is a rape and murder case and a very heinous case. So I don't think uh, anybody should be doing politics and certainly not the CBI. CBI will be doing its professional work and it will take its time. I mean, it's not okay. just because uh, everybody's coming on media it doesn't mean that CBI is going to file a charge sheet tomorrow. They have to wait for all their reports, collect all the evidence, examine all the people, and then take a decision. And definitely they will also see what the lapses were, by, if there were any, by the Calcutta police. They will definitely be looking into that. Okay, Mr. Singh, I'll come back to you in just a moment. Nilanjan Das uh, wanted to come in. Uh, Mr. Das? You've heard now. I'm glad, I'm glad that uh, the former CBI director, uh, you know, addressed this point that these things take time. And, you know, th there can be accusations against certain. The Kolkata police is also a professional organization. The kind of aspersions being leveled at the Kolkata police, it's horrible. And it is all being done by the BJP and the CPIM. And it, the, their fake, fake news has been peddled by the mainstream media. So that is the truth. What is the we fake are, news that mainstream no, no, media no, no, no. is peddling? No, no, please, please, please. No, ma'am, please tell me finish. something, ma'am. Let me finish. Maybe one second, sir. I'll come to you in just a second. No, no, no. no. Why, are you so irked? Why are you so irked when I say that the media is peddling fake news? I'm not they irked. I'm asking you to please shed light on what is it? What is the fake How news that mainstream times? media is peddling? Didn't, didn't, okay, uh, should, am I allowed to take name of other uh, media channels? I don't think I am. No, I'm, I'm asking you, channel. tell me incidents. Tell me incidents what is the like fake news that has been spread? 150 grams of semen found. The pelvic girdle is broken. There are There is fake uh, uh, post-mortem reports. All these were circulating for 10 days. Fake. Uh, and and now, now this accusation against the Kolkata police or whoever this doctor is, Dr. Abhik or whatever. All this, what is the proof? If you have some proof, share it with the CBI. It's a professional organization. They can deal with it. They will come up with a report. And if anyone is guilty, they will file a charge sheet against them as well. So why do this media trial? That, that's where I want to uh, okay, focus. So, so you want the media to stop talking about the case? Of course. Of course. You no, should be talking about the 900 other incidents of rape okay. that took place in the last 10 days. No, no, Mr. Nilanjan no, Das. No, 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 you don't have the Mr. guts Nilanjan to talk Nilanjan about das. the BJP ruled states. That is your problem. 
بابری مسجد وین آئی آسٹ کوشچن اباؤٹ آر جی کر Now you're talking no, about you Manipur. Are, you, you are okay. not discussing RG Kaur. You are discussing some random doctor, Obik Day, who was uh, no, 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 sir. It's not a random doctor. No, it's a person who's been seen in a video that is yeah, circulating. So, how is it relevant to the rape and murder? Because he's not a fingerprint expert and he's been identified as such by the Kolkata police. The CPI police. will take care have of that. Have you not understood the question that I'm asking? He was brought to the CPI. You don't have to take care of the CPI. CPI is run by BJP, I know, he but was I, I, I have no conviction there. He was brought to erase the fingerprints of the miscreants. Absolutely, those who were absolutely. No, no. absolutely. This person is, this person is accusing. He was brought to the scene. Absolutely. He was he was he was he was now, he now this, this doctor, this doctor, instead of showing his face on the national television, should go to the CGO complex and register his complaints. That's what you, you should be doing. What the doctor should do? No, 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 that's what he should be doing. He should not say talking nonsense. He should not. He should not. Share unfounded citizen, claims on national television. He is not free to do whatever he he is not free to do whatever he is not free to do whatever he he is not free to peddle fake news or fake narratives. He is not free to do that. I am very sorry. I am very sorry. He is not free to peddle fake news. Please let me say something about the doctors. That is Mr. Nilanjan Das. One second. That is Dr. Ashim Maithi's understanding of the situation. He obviously he is not he is not, not to the CGO complex. He is what do you why mean? Why is he not, he not going to the CGO complex? complex? And raising this question. All the doctors will go. Mr. Nilanjan Das, what sort of a bizarre question is that? Why is it always in the future tense? Why are you not doing it? Why don't you share your details? One second. Why don't you approach the CBI and show whatever queries you have raised? Okay, one second. This this conversation between the TMC and the doctor is not leading anywhere. Rochika Agarwal, you wanted to come in. Yes. See, uh, Devika, the uh, the he will go on and on. He will go on and on. He is still trying to cover up what the police is doing. He is talking about the police uh, is doing nothing. Case. The police is doing nothing. CBI. I have more than twenty-two, more than twenty-two rape cases that has happened in Bengal. In I have I have list of more okay. than nine hundred cases. cases. What is I the have police list of more than 900 what cases that, that took place in India in the last 10 days. What is Mr. Modi doing about it? 9th of August, rape and murder. What is Modi doing about the 900 cases of rape that took place? Okay, it's so sad. Okay, I would have been very sad. What is Modi doing about the 900 cases of rape that took place? I would have been very sad. 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 Mr. Nilanjan, I am also allowing you to scream and yell. No, no, I am not talking. Why is that? Well, you are. How are you the judge and jury of what everybody has to say, Mr. Nilanjan Das? What's going on? One second, can you please mute everyone? Did I start talking about the rapes that has been committed by the BJP goons in Bengal? Please talk about it. No, if if it's a rape and murder, then talk about it. You are both yelling at each other, at each other's throats. Nobody wants to be accountable. I have asked you a question, Mr. Nilanjan Das, in the beginning about ready about to, the role of the Kolkata you Police. You have not answered time. it. You are not ready to listen to me, sir. I have given you more air time than anybody else. All you have done that is, that is, is my yell because you have brought in three people against me. How is the former director of the CBI against time. you? That is quite obvious, isn't it? What are you doing? What are you uh, trying to allege? How is the former director of the CBI against you? He has come and answered very CBI pointed questions. To, the CBI reports to whom? General knowledge question. Oh, please, Mr. Nilanjan Das, please. Okay. I know it that is a even pity. your media reports to the same authority. It is a pity that the TMC. This is what how the TMC wants to treat serious conversations authority. about rapes and murders. This is how the TMC wants to treat it. Who is the Kolkata police reporting to then? Let me ask you the same question. That's the, that's why I am answering. Look, if the Kolkata police is you want to allege that the CBI is working for the, the BJP, CBI who is the Kolkata them police working for? That's what I'm saying. The CBI should hold them accountable. But I need an answer. Why should the CBI, CBI hold the CBI Kolkata police accountable? Why can't the Mamta Banerjee government what hold the police accountable? What has the CBI accountable? done in the last 20 days? Mr. Nilanjan Das, why doesn't the West Bengal government hold the Kolkata uh, police accountable? The case is now with the CBI. The West Bengal government has nothing to do with it. Why? Right now. 
nothing to do with it. Why? Because the case you is are with the CBI. Not to have the high to court of it. Calcutta. You are choosing not to have anything to do with it. The West Bengal government has. You are choosing not to have anything to do with it. Please. You are choosing not to have anything to do with it. No, no. Uh, you are choosing to ask the wrong questions. That is your. Okay. That is. I am asking the wrong question. CBI policy. works for the it's BJP. Doctor Ashi Mehta works for the BJP. Rajita Agarwal. Any other belongs to the BJP. So everybody is against the TMC, and this is some. Uh, yeah, national media, conspiracy to malign the TMC. Not. That's what this the TMC wants to believe. Trial. So let the TMC believe the that. Can I come in for a minute? Yes, Mr. ABC. I'm going to leave the last word with Mr. ABC because all the rest of you have done is yelled and screamed. Very can I, unfortunate. Mr. ABC, last, uh, last word to you, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let, let me tell you that they are asking what has the CBI done uh, for 17 days. I told you that it takes time. It's a professional investigation. And the Supreme Court is monitoring it. I think uh, the Supreme Court has asked for a status report, maybe around eighth or ninth of September, and CBI will be giving it. So it's not as if CBI is doing uh, anything on its own. It is being supervised. It is. It, it has to uh, give reports to the Supreme Court, and Supreme Court has to be satisfied with the investigation. So I think we should leave it to the Supreme Court to say whether CBI is is doing its job or it's not doing its job. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.